Welcome to the Living Loud and Proud Podcast, brought to you by Disability Pride Pennsylvania. If you need a link to the transcript for this episode, please visit our accessible website at www.disabilitypridepa.org slash podcast. And now, here is your host. Hi everyone, it's Vicki Landers, uh, Disability Pride Pennsylvania. I want to thank you all for joining us for another edition of the Living Loud and Proud podcast. Um, today I'm really excited to have two special guests and we're going to be talking about uh, Disability Pride Lehigh Valley that's coming up on July 20th in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Um, I'm going to let my guests introduce themselves. Uh, Chaz, how about you first? Yeah, thanks so much, Vicki. Hey, everyone. Uh, my name is Chaz Hayden. I am an author of young adult novels, and I currently reside in Eastern Pennsylvania. And I'm also the host of Front Row with Chaz, which is a web series that highlights businesses and venues that feature and make their places inclusive uh, for people with disabilities. Uh, so you can check that out online. And I'm excited to be hosting and emceeing Disability Pride Lehigh Valley this year. Yes, we're excited to have you there. Okay, so our next guest, Jackie. Hi, my name is Jackie Schwartz. I'm the program manager at Lehigh Valley Arts and Cultural Alliance, otherwise known as LAVACA. Um, we are super excited to host, uh, to partner with uh, Vicki and Disability Pride PA for the second time um, um, this year. Um, the, the next uh, Disability Lehigh Valley will be Saturday, July 20th um, in Arts Park, Allentown. And we have a lot of new, exciting partners this year. Yeah, so um, I want to like jump right in, but I want to make sure that I say um, thank you to our podcast sponsor, Highmark Whole Care, for all of their support and um, giving us the space to be able to do these podcasts. These are community podcasts, and we're talking about things going on in our community. So why don't we do this? Why don't we jump in with Jackie? You can kind of give us kind of a um, quick overview of what's going on, and then we can kind of chat about all the different things that, that are going. Sure. So um, this year, we've, we've changed the venue. Um, like I mentioned, it's a, a, in downtown Allentown and Arts Park. Um, we're going to kick it off with a, a flag raising ceremony uh, right before the, um, the the actual events start at 11. And that will feature um, Chaz, our host, will be there along with um, several government uh, officials. Um, and then we'll kick it off. Um, we have uh, four uh, different performers um, scheduled on stage. We have two returning uh, um, performers by, uh, back by popular demand, and that's Friends of Tom's Band and Nicole Rissmiller. They're both of the Lehigh Valley. Actually, all of our performers and our artists are in the Lehigh Valley region, so we're super excited to um, um, highlight those folks. Um, in addition, we have a, a, a really amazing uh, visual arts exhibition. We're partnering with um, the Bomb School of Allentown, which uh, flanks Allentown Arts Park. Um, the exhibition will be, um, it's open to um, all artists um, with disabilities. We have two full galleries. I think we have over 45 artists selected so far. This exhibit will um, uh, kick off on, on July 18th um, with an art opening uh, from 6 to 8, and then it will be up for a whole entire month. Um, we will also feature an audio description uh, curated tour, which is recorded, um, but what's really exciting, we have a live audio description tour the day of the event at 12 o'clock. Um, in addition to that, we have like a lot of new vendors this year. We have uh, like can, Canine Companions, we have Biddy and Bo's uh, Coffee Shop, we have Country Meadows, uh, and we have many different um, other vendors outside. So we're pretty excited about that. No, that's great. It sounds like, you know, the, the last year was, was a great first, you know, kickoff event. And this year seems like we're getting more and more. Um, 
I know that, that um, my community partners are so excited to be back. They're super excited to be in Allentown um, and to see what see what's going to happen. Um, Chaz, so is this the first time you're going to be emceeing an event? It is. I've never hosted an event before. Um, and when Jackie asked me to do it, she said, have you ever hosted an event? I said, no, but I've also never made a TV show. And here I am doing that too. Uh, so we're really excited about it. I attended Disability Pride last year when it was at Penn State Lehigh Valley. And it was a good kickoff event. But I think everyone is interested and hyped about seeing how Disability Pride can turn out this year, uh, being in a more public and open space. Uh, Allentown is thriving on the weekends with so many museums. I mean, we're right next to the Allentown Art Museum. We're right next to the Bomb School of Art. We're right next to restaurants and other shopping areas. So hopefully besides the people that have already registered and are going to attend, we can get some passer buyers as well that are just want to step inside or stroll inside or walk, roll inside, however they want to do it, and uh, see what we're about. Yeah, that's that's really that's what's exciting to me this year is that <clears throat> we're right downtown Allentown, where like that's where the main drag is. That's where everything is happening. Um, I hear from everybody that I know that Allentown is hopping on the weekends, um, especially during the summer. So I just think that it's going to be a great um, a great space for for the event. Um, Jackie, can you tell us a little more about the flag raising part of it? Yeah, so um, we will be kicking it off um, at 10.30. Um, and uh, um, as I mentioned, Chaz will be there. Um, some of Vicky's uh, um, colleagues will be there. Lavaca will be there. Um, and uh, Mike, uh, representative Mike Schlafberg will be there. And someone from Ma Mayor Turk's um, office, he's the mayor of Allentown, will also be there. And, and anyone else is welcome um, to be at the, uh, the flag raising ceremony. And, and I think it's um, um, a, a nice pivotal point to start, um, you know, um, the celebrations with, uh, um, you know, dedicating um, the, the, um, to all the folks in the Lehigh Valley. Yeah, um, we just um, here in in Philadelphia um, on July first, we kicked off with a flag raising ceremony to kick off the entire month, um, which was super exciting. Um, and people are people have been asking. I've gotten emails, so many emails asking me when when's the next event, what's happening, um, and so I've been sending everybody along to the Lavaca um, website so you can find out more information about the event itself and how they can still get involved. So that's very exciting to me. Um, can we talk about some of the, well, you know what I'd like to do is take a step back and talk about um, the work that Lavaca does. Yeah, um, so Lavaca, we um, are um, a result of a merger from um, the, the um, Allentown Arts Commission and uh, the Arts Council. And more or less, we're a unifying voice for all the arts and cultural um, 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 organizations and artists of the Lehigh Valley. And when I say artists, um, it's a collective of uh, musicians, actors, and, and, and whatnot. Um, and we, um, you know, part of our mission is to create um, an all accessible and inclusive environment for all of our um, community members um, to to appreciate, to participate in the, in the arts. And uh, um, and, that, and that's basically one of the reasons that we um, are thrilled to be involved in Disability Pride, because uh, um, it gives us a, a great opportunity to showcase um all of our accessible and inclusive uh, um, organization and artists in the Lehigh Valley. We have um, tons of uh, um, things to do in Lehigh Valley, and I know Chaz could uh, speak more uh, to that um, He um, um, because of his uh, uh, show. Um, so we're excited about that, and that's what we, we do, and, and we hope to be uh, a shining example of what uh, accessible and inclusion um, looks like for folks around 
That's great. So, Chaz, she just mentioned that you might know a little bit more. So tell me what that that looks like. We've been filming Front Row with Chaz for over a year now. Uh, we've hit up about six or seven different spots throughout the Lehigh Valley, the Martin Guitar Factory. I mean, you wouldn't think that a factory would be 100% accessible, uh, but it really is, all the way from physical and motor disabilities to navigating throughout the entire factory line through the tour, uh, through if you have a vision or, or hearing impairment with, uh, they have headsets you can wear and then even sensory activities at the factory. So that was one of my all time favorite episodes we did. And then we just visited the bomb school of art, which is right next to arts park where the disability pride event is happening. And I was really excited to showcase their partnership with the autism society what they do for young people who are neurodiverse, and then also the accommodations that they can offer. Uh, I was lucky enough while filming to sit in on a painting class that was happening and to just be able to be offered certain accommodations, whether it was different paintbrush sizes or different canvas sizes that maybe weren't the normal choice for the project they were working on, but setting up so that I could be involved and experience the class in a way that I would be able to experience with my disability. So there's been a, a slew of places throughout the Lehigh Valley, but what really, really makes me happy is to see what the Valley is doing to become inclusive. Uh, every day I'm visiting more and more places just on my own and seeing what they're doing to go above and beyond ADA is really heartwarming. That that's great. I mean, you know, I love to I love to hear that um, the Lehigh Valley is really like leaning in and becoming legal, as, as I tell folks, um, and uh, just being up being examples of what the ADA and, like you said, going above above the ADA, um, what that looks like because, you know, um, we always talk about. You know, the ADA is 34 years old this month, um, but it is kind of the the floor to um, what accessibility should look like. Um, so we're really excited to hear that um, the folks in Lehigh Valley are doing great jobs. And yeah, I mean, I'm going to make sure that I, more people know about your, your, your uh, make sure you tell everybody about how they can get involved in your um, series. Yeah, for sure. And like even Arts Trust, where Music Fest happens, Music Fest is one of the biggest free music festivals in the country. And they really make sure that everyone feels included and accommodated all the way from partnering with land to buses that have wheelchair lifts for transportation from the different venues to um, sensory tents. If you want to experience the music in the festival, but it's a little bit too loud, you can enter the tent and still listen to the music at your own pace. Oh, that's wonderful. I love that. Um, so Jackie, can you tell me a little bit more about um, the offerings during the day? Yeah, so, um, and, and Chaz made a very good point, um, and Vicki, um, the same, that uh, Lehigh Valley, we're all leaning into. Um, and uh, um, what we do at Lavaca, we, we offer different um, um, like lunch and learns so people will um, learn about um, what you can do. Um, and we always say that um, accessibility and inclusion is always a journey and, and to take uh, one step at a time. And uh, the more um, the more you see it at one organization, um, it happens at another organization and it snowballs. Um, so at Disability Pride uh, Lehigh Valley, we um, um, we have a, a sensory room, um, at, and it will also offer um, cooling room. July twentieth uh, might be a little hot, <laughs> um, so we have that. Um, in addition, um, we are also partnering with the Allentown Art Museum, which is free of charge. 
um, right across the street from Arts Park, and they also have another sensory room as well. Um, we will have um, ASL interpreters um, for everybody on the stage. Um, as I mentioned earlier, we have um, audio description um, at the visual art, art exhibit, and uh, um, we have uh, accessible parking. Um, the bomb school has generously offered um, their whole parking lot, and that will only be for uh, accessible parking only. Um, so we're really excited about um, all the things that we're doing. Um, and uh, any of the the, um, the listeners out there, if you have any suggestions or, um, or any accommodations, please feel free to reach out to us directly, and we will um, try to get that accommodated before the day of the event. Great. So I want to hear about the fun activities that are going on, because I hear there's going to be lots of art stuff going yeah, so there's, um, in addition to the arts, um, we'll, we'll have um, live um, art making out, um, out in the arts park, but um, that will be sponsored by Lehigh Valley, I, I mean, Le Lehigh yeah. University Arts Gallery and then the Allentown Art Museum. Um, another fun thing is that um, Allentown uh, Symphony will be out there. They will have different um, um, instruments to sample. Um, we'll have lots of lawn games to um, be played. Um, we also have uh, um, oh, Da Vinci Art Center um, is another big sponsor. Um, they had they just opened up their brand new facility, which is in walking distance of Allentown's Park. That opened up in May. They will be part of uh, um, the festivities that day. They are um, they will be performing their very entertaining and educational nitro nitro uh, um, um, liquid nitrogen act. Um, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and, um, and then um, we have the performers on stage. We're, we have uh, um, Laughing Yoga, which is an entertaining, um, interactive yoga experience, um, complete with humor. <laughs> um, and, uh, um, and then we have uh, um, the different um, musical acts of the day. So um, we have a lot going on. We also have uh, Canine Companions. Um, their organization um our local uh, chapter raises uh, um, service dogs and the service dogs will be there and all the information will be there as well. Um, and we're excited to welcome Biddy and Bows. Um, they are uh, um, a coffee shop. Um, it's a national chain. We have one um, in Bethlehem and they offer employment for um, folks who have um, um, development uh, uh, um, disabilities and they will be there um, selling iced coffee or hot coffee if you want hot coffee on that day and pastries and things like that. So um, a lot of fun stuff happening, a lot of um, food. We will have some food trucks there as well. From, um, and uh, um, we're really proud that um, most of our um, organizations and, and vendors are, are um, local folks too. Oh, that's great. So can you, um, so can you, oh, that very important. What time is it, the event? Oh. <laughs> a good question. Um, so the flag raising ceremony, all are welcome at 1030. Um, the, the festivities um, really start at, at 11 a.m. Um, I'm sorry, July 20th. That's a Saturday, um, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. at Arts Park. Awesome. Yeah, that's um, I think that's a perfect way of like. You know, here in Philadelphia, we kick off with the flag raising and a parade, you know. So I think adding the flag raising this year and having um, Allent the city of Allentown, you know, um, letting us, you know, letting us, like, be supporting us, basically, uh, by letting us raise that flag that day, I think, is is wonderful idea. Um, I personally um, am very upset that I'm not going to see that because there are not very many cities in the U.S. Um, that get to raise the national DAT flag to honor our past. Um, so I think it's super important to be able to do that. Um, so Chaz, so what are you looking forward to the most at the event? I think just seeing all the people there. Yeah, I'm really excited about that. Seeing the community turn out to support disability awareness. And when I came to the event last year, 
um, it seemed like there was definitely an interest from the community. But now that we're more centrally, centrally located for the event, we're expecting a massive amount of people, hopefully, right? We could be up on the stage. We can entertain them, interacting with them. I just love communicating with people and talking to them and learning about them. So that's what I'm really excited about the most is the people. Great. Yeah, I think that's, to me, it's it's the best part because I love being in the community. You know, I love just interacting, playing games, just talking to folks, Mm -hmm. meeting new people, and then also um, getting to say hello to folks that I haven't seen, you know, in a year or I've met and done lots of things virtually, but, you know, I can see something more than their little head in a box. Yeah. That's that's super exciting. That's what I love about the Valley. Like, the Valley, when you think about it, is huge. You have Easton, Bethlehem, Allentown, right? Like, and so many other towns and cities. Like, geographically, it's huge, but it very much feels like a community, and that's why... I love saying the Lehigh Valley because just saying that gives it that community feel. We're all in this together. It doesn't matter what town you're from. And because of that, living here very much has a small town vibe in the best way possible. When you're out, whether you're at the farmer's market in downtown Easton on the weekend or you're going to an Iron Pigs baseball game, it really feels like you know your neighbors, you know everyone, even if you've never met them before. That's awesome. I love that. Um, that's, you know, to me, I'm like, this is I don't know why we wanted, we, we started these, you know, these events 12 years ago in Pennsylvania was because of the fact we wanted a place where our community could come together and celebrate who we are. You know, the, the triumphs sometimes said not so, not so good parts of it also, because I think every, everything that we do is a stepping stone and a learning possibility. So I think that that's, I think we should look at it as a whole and as a whole, I think we've come a long way Um, and we should celebrate all of those things. And also to me, I remembering the folks who have been a part of the disability rights fight, you know, and all of, all of they've done for us, you know, um, but also looking forward to like, what else can we do? So Jackie, do you have any plans? Like does LaVaca, like what are LaVaca's next plans for access, like to keep building on it? Yeah. So, um, you know, of course the, um, disability pride event is our, our big event of the year, but, um, all throughout the year, we offer, um, uh, lunch and learns, um, we, um, we invite uh, nationally recognized uh, um, um, folks, um, and and they we have different topics. We'll have like uh, um, different topics about like uh, accessibility. We'll have like something on sensory room. We'll have you know something uh, you know um, um, of how to make your your festivals more accessible. Um, and we're always open for um, others. So if anyone has a suggestion, um, you know, feel free to to write in. Um, yeah, so the, the, those are some of the things with, that we offer. And we also offer, um, like part of our organization, we just had a big uh, convening meeting um, where all um, arts and cultural organizations, um, including individual um, artists, um, were welcome at Lafayette. And, and this brings in um, everyone that we talk and, and how do we face the, the challenges of, um, and the future of arts and, and what does that mean um, for the folks in Lehigh Valley. And so, um, you know, getting everyone collectively together and talking about it when we can come up with a strategic plan that we can all um, be, um, you know, sustainable, we can be all um, accessible, we can all be inclusive. So those are things that um, we we work on. Um, we're sort of like behind the scenes. We're sort of like the glue, getting everybody together um, into the same room and uh, making that what what uh, Chaz mentioned, um, making the Lehigh Valley feel, um, even though it's so big, um, but a small community. So no matter where you go, you feel um, welcomed. No, I love that. I think it's so important to... Um, to 
bring folks together to have these conversations. You know, it's, it's, I, I, I tell folks all the time that for me, um, having these types of celebrations, these events brings, brings people together in a fun kind of interesting way. And you make better connections with those folks. And those are the folks who are going to have so, you know, other conversations, sometimes not so pleasant conversations, but conversations that we need to have stronger um, conversations. And those are the, that's how you're building this community is by having um, all of these folks that you're now being connected with. And it's all, you know, it's growing. Um, I am on the board of the National Council on Independent Living. And, you know, we're, we have our national conference coming up at the end of the end of July, which is why I have to miss Lehigh Valley this year, unfortunately. Um, and, you know, this is all about like bringing people from all over the country together, you know, for what, for, to have these t same types of conversations. How do we get, how do we keep moving the needle forward past the floor level? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> that makes sense. Definitely. And, it, and, and having these conversations also, um, it's not coming from one organization. It's coming from everybody, um, everyone's input on how, like, what things look like. And, and you know, Disability Pride Lehigh Valley is a, a result of that. It, it's not all um, Disability Pride PA. It's not all LaVaca. It's, it's a result of everyone coming together and what they they, they, they thought what, like what this year should look like. And that's why it's changed uh, immensely because of those conversations. Yeah, I have to second that as well. And then even just with other businesses that I've connected with or have reached out to me, they want to improve their accessibility. And what's really important is that they recognize that they need to include people with disabilities in those conversations. Uh, whether it's myself or I recommend someone who can speak better on behalf of whatever they're trying to do. That's really amazing that we've reached the point where we're not building things or doing renovations or think that we're making enhancements when we're not really including the people that are being affected by those decisions. But here in the Valley, we 100% are. Yeah, I think that that's so important. Um, and I, you know, for me, when I, when I build out, I always, I go into an area that has asked us to come in <laughs> and we work with a community there, that community of how they want the event to look like. And that's, a, that's super important, you know, because I tell everybody I'm from Philly, so I know what we want it to look like in Philly. Um, but you know, Lehigh Valley is, is a different area and Pittston and Williamsport and Pittsburgh and all of those are, there are different communities and we want to make sure that disability, disability pride looks like what they want it to look like, you know? Um, and that is bringing those voices in, letting community members be a part of it and, and just kind of um, helping to facilitate how that could, how that looks, um, with our, with the experience of the event planning. So, um, we're very excited, you know, again, this is second year for, um, Disability Pride Lehigh Valley partnering with our friends at LaVaca. Um, and, um, I'm very excited to see the photos and hear from our staff and our corporate partners on what, how the event um, felt to them and, and their ideas, because I always like to hear their ideas also and what it could look like going forward. Um, because we just learn and every year be becomes better and better and better. So. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, um, it, it, it does get better and better. Um, the first one is always, uh, um, you know, um, oh, I hope this works out. <laughs> and it did work out. Um, and the second one is coming, mean, it, it just, uh, um, it, it has grown, um, you know, um, hugely from last year. And it's a result of everybody being at the table. Um, and, and um, 
um, creating what, what the Lehigh Valley wants to see. Yeah, absolutely. So any last words? Um, you know, I, I wanted to um, give a shout out to um, the Zollner Art Center. Um, I, um, I forgot to mention them as one of the partners. Um, the Zollner Art Center is the Performing Arts uh, Center at Lehigh University. And they will be host in Kinetic Light um, in October. And Kinetic Light is an innovative uh, disability arts ensemble. Um, they're um, not globally actually uh, acclaimed. And uh, so they will be at, at uh, Disability Pride um, talking about their event. But the big thing is they have um, gifted um, us um, 10 tickets and they will be um, raffled off through uh, pre-registration and registration on, on the day of. So um, folks um, have uh, um, a chance uh, to go see uh, Kinetic Light in October for free. That's great. Where can people register? Um, so our registration will be up on our website, um, hopefully by the end of this week. And our website is lavaca, L-V-A-C-A dot org. Um, sorry, it's not up yet, but it will be up very shortly. And and if you miss up uh, uh, pre-registration, um, we will have um, registration um, at Lavaca's tent um, at, at the day of um, uh, of the event. And is registration required? No, it's not required. Um, it's free. Um, the event is free as well. Um, just if you register, um, you'll have a chance uh, uh, for your name to be called uh, for one of those uh, free tickets. Great. Chaz, any last words? Just really excited about this event. Uh, thank you to Jackie and Lavanta for asking me to host. And can't wait to see everyone there. I, I agree. I um, I think it's adding up to be a great a great time. You know, um, I'm very excited about all of the um, arts and culture that is going to be there. But also remembering that a, a big part of this is also bringing in resources for for folks um, because resources, especially in the disability community, are so difficult to find. Um, and to be able to be independent and make our own choices, we need to know what resources are out there. So that is a huge part of what we do. So I want to make sure everybody comes out to Disability Pride Lehigh Valley this this year. It is in two weeks. Whoosh, two weeks. July 20th um, at the Arts Park in downtown Allentown. And it is from 1030 to 3. And we hope to see everybody there. And remember, if you have any questions, you can visit the LaVaca website. Um, it's lvaca.org. And if you have any questions, you know you can reach out to Disability Pride Pennsylvania or to Jackie at LaVaca. And I hope to see you all again. Thank you again to our partners, um, Highmark Whole Care, for sponsoring our podcast. And we look forward to seeing you at the Lehigh Valley event. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Becky. Thank you. Please visit our accessible website at www.disabilitypridepa.org. You can find us on social media at DisabilityPridePA on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok.